Unfortunately, the Opie and Anthony show is over. Fortunately, we have a hard time letting go. The stories behind the stories. Behind the stories. The backstage drama. Everything that made today unforgettable. Call 866-WOW-1-WOW now. And look back on another legendary day of broadcasting. This is the Opie and Anthony Post Show. Post Show with Sam Roberts. Well, now you know what it is and how to contact it. It's the Post Show with me, Sam Roberts. 866-WOW-1-WOW. 866-969-1969. If you want to be a part of today's Post Show, we do it every day. Wrapping up everything that went down on today's Opie and Anthony Show. How great was Patton Oswalt? So cool to have guys like that that are not only amazing guests, but they're fans of the show. Like, he's coming in talking about what has been happening on the show recently that he has been enjoying. It's a rare thing for a guest to be that good and to be that big of a fan. I mean, you hear some of the callers that call in. The callers are all big fans of the show, but... A lot of them are not good guests, not whatsoever. A lot of them are very, very bad. For Pat Oswalt to be this big a fan and to be this good a guest is an amazing thing. We got to revisit Spaz for a little while today. Told some wrestling jokes about Vince McMahon losing money. Of course, all about the Billboard Music Awards. DJ Who Kid just stopped in. Hell yeah. Are you excited about uh, Michael Jackson hologram? Hell yeah. You are, right? Now, you met Michael Jackson. Hell yeah. Did that hologram look like Michael Jackson to you? Hell no. It didn't, right? (laughs) You didn't think so. Like, some people were calling in today, one guy, Mm -hmm. and he said that the hologram was a video of a Michael Jackson impersonator. Yeah, I had a feeling it was that, too. But don't you think that the... I mean, it's not like the hologram is just a video being projected onto the stage. Don't you think it's like a video game character where it's not actually mm. a photo of Michael Jackson? It's, it's like a digital tribute. It's a digital tribute. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. Like I mean, when a girl shoves a finger inside of you. A digital tribute. I mean, yeah. Digits. Digital. <laughs> I mean, when the Tupac thing came out, everybody was shocked because... But that didn't really look that much like Tupac either. But the, the Tupac... I mean, the hologram was dancing with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> it humped. It was a little much. You didn't see when it humped? It humped. It did. Yeah, it. this one was more like tri- like a tribute. But well, the- it was moonwalking, but I didn't know we had the <laughs> technology to make holograms hump. Hell yeah. Wow. Dr. Dre got it somehow. I don't know. Well, what? if anybody's going to get it. Tupac humped. Yeah. That's all I know. If anybody's going to get it. Let's find out what today's line of the day. But we have Pat Oswalt in studio today. Oh, that's hot. So this is a very funny show. Let's find out what the line of the day was. Here comes the line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. this guy looks, this guy looks, you know, almost like Michael Jackson. Yeah. So why wouldn't you go? Okay, what, what do I need on my face to like bring right, home? Right, to really <laughs> <laughs> a child? Because they're almost. <laughs> You like that one, a child on his face. <laughs> that was funny. Did you watch last night? Uh, I saw a little bit of it. What did you think? Uh, I mean, it's, it's like seeing the same performances over and over for some reason. I don't it, know. No, you're right. It's the same people. Same rappers, same people. Yeah, same. Miley Cyrus is going to do yeah. something outrageous. Hung out and all that. Lord is going to, everybody's going to be like, wow, she can really sing. I'm just mad I missed Rat Tattoo. I should have came a little earlier. Is man. that why you like Pat Oswalt? Well, I interviewed him for Matt Rat. That's my favorite cartoon of all time. Rat Tattoo is? Yeah. Why? I a bitch to that shit. You had sex with a woman while watching Rat Tattoo. That's Hell, how much yeah. you like the movie. I like the, I don't know. I like cartoons and sex. <laughs> well, I read in the New York Times that you go to sleep eating Frosted Flakes. Hell yeah. And then you have sex watching cartoons. Yeah. What's it? What's So is Red Tattooey. Is it your favorite cartoon to enjoy, or do you find that to be the most sexual? I like it when, because, you know, Red Tattoo is like a gooey, like, snack. So oh, okay. It's sexual, too. A lot of people don't know that Red Tattoo is used during Arab sexual acts. I had no idea. Is that du- true? I go to Dubai a lot. That's how I know these things. Do they, do they fuck desserts? No, nah, they just put it on themselves. Oh, okay, so they just start rubbing rat tattooing mm. on themselves. That's why the connection with Michael Jackson it works so well, because when, when I'm in Michael Jackson, he had a little bit of rat tattooing 
on his chest. Really? Yeah. And that must have been from... In Bahrain. Yeah, from the Arabs. From some sexual acts. He probably did, but... Uh, now, do you think he was inviting you? The fact that he had rat tattooey on his chest? Maybe he was inviting you to maybe... Uh, nah, I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah. You didn't get that vibe from him? Yeah, a little laugh on him, a little giggle. But he cursed, right? Yeah, he cursed, too. That was crazy. That is, sounds crazy. I was, I was letting him know that they were about to confiscate or they were, they were about to take his uh, Neverland. He's like, fuck that shit, man. I can't write that shit, yo. <laughs> he dropped the N-word at all? Uh, nah. Oh, uh, that's yeah. too bad. Would you have flipped out if you had heard Michael Jackson using the N-word? Uh, I would be surprised, but he, he lost his niggerism like 20 years ago. Oh, so Michael can't even use, he can't use the word anymore. Yeah, he's white. So, <laughs> so he'd be, he be offended. Be, he would, no, I would be offended. You cause, would be. Because he's white. Right. And you're white. And that's how white Michael Jackson is. Yeah, he's, he's whiter than you. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> well, now he's he's not any kind. Now he's just rot- he's whiter than me because he's so just he's bone rotting me. away. <laughs> There's a little beige right now. And everybody's talking about the hologram tribute as if it's the first time it's been done. Like, nobody's being like, yeah. Like, everybody's like, wow, wasn't it a little creepy to see a dead guy hologram on stage? And it's like, we <laughs> but just... There's so, there's so many holograms out there that people, like, they, they did the Biggie one. They did a Biggie hologram? I think they did a Biggie one. There's, like, even a lot, there's a lot of dead ones. There's, I mean, because we saw the Tupac one, like, two summers ago. Yeah. And nobody's being like, yeah, we saw the hologram. We know it's possible. I mean, I cried a little bit, you know. Tear went... At the Tupac one? Yeah, because the tear went down my cheek, then I sniffed it back in my nose. You, <laughs> why? <laughs> I mean, Just like, getting all the juices going together? It's crazy. So were you crying when he was humping? <laughs> yeah, I laughed at that part. You liked that part. But when he danced with Snoop, I was I was kind of amped up. It was emotional. Mm. The Michael Jackson one was not as emotional? Nah, because I met <laughs> him, and then he had red tattoo on him. <laughs> you were like, it's all good. Pat Oswald. I wanted to let Pat Oswald know that experience. I always thought red tattoo was just a rat. I didn't know anything about the dessert. You know, it's, <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a little a, a gluttony snack. What other cartoons do you watch? Uh, you don't want to know. No, I guess I don't. Charlotte's Web. When you have sex, you watch Charlotte's Web? That's like an emotional story of like, it's like a tearjerker, isn't it? When you have a pig and a spider, it's just like, it's crazy. Oh, it feels very sexual. Mm. You're saying it was more than meets the eye with that pig and that spider. Because they, it looked like they wanted to fuck, but you know, but they, they had that love against, you know, the, 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 the sizes is why they didn't fuck. Right, because obviously mm. uh, the pig would have hit would have hit Charlotte from the back. <laughs> I don't think you would have hit him at all. But if he had done that, then the spider would have died. Charlotte would have been crushed. I mean, it, it relates to me because you know my dick is big and the pussies are usually small. Oh, so, so very they're scared of you. It's like a Charlotte's web. Intimidated. Episode every time and I also you yeah. shoot a web Hell with your yeah. dick yeah. and you write your name or whatever. You write a little message. Spider dick. <laughs> spider dick. That's right. Here they call you. That's incredible. Uh, Sal. Yeah, Sam. Do you have a favorite clip from today? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, Sam, one thing really quick. Ratatouille is not a dessert. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not. What is it? It's like it's a, a soup. It's a vegetable dish with like a broth. Yeah. Is it gooey? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because it's like the, the vegetables are kind of go- You can put your dick in it, yeah. But, like, but could you see yourself spraying it all over yourself? In the middle of a sex act. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so who can may- like, maybe out of his mind? Like, you don't like the taste of garlic and salt? I mean, I guess I do, but not, yeah. in, in, not in the sex as well, like it's dinner. Your girl likes it too, right? Your girl likes garlic and salt, right? Well, sure, everybody likes garlic and salt. It's so a great it seasoning. Your, if you put it on your chest, your wife wouldn't lick it. Like, well, like I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't know if garlic and salt is what you would. Li- I mean, maybe something sweet, like some chocolate uh, syrup or something. Well, a voice turns me on. Man. It does. Know. It does. It's just something. It's associative. No homo, though. But you know. no, I understand. It's yeah. associative, is all that is. Uh, well, thank, well, how do you how do you know so much about French culture, Sal? Because I like French food. I mean, yeah, you just yeah. you know, every, that's like the most quintessential French dish. Yeah, but you know what it is. sounds like when you say I like French food? Uh, it what? sounds like French food is code word for well, for dick. No, that's what doesn't it? That's it's, it's, and, and I saw them. I, I actually really like that movie. That movie is fucking awesome. Wait, I read that too. And he makes it in the movie. Yeah, La Femme c'est bon. Is that you calling your salad femme? No, I said oh. the movie was great. Oh, I thought, I thought you were just calling him a femme. Yeah. No, 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 French nigga. Look at his accent, it's really good. <laughs> Man, he's probably French. He's Haitian. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's, not, he's not impressive. He's not worldly. He's, he, he's uh, Haitian. Nigga, I'm French, nigga. <laughs> uh, let's go to Big D in Kentucky. <laughs> What's up, Big D? Hey, Sam. How are you doing, buddy? I was, I was doing okay. Now I'm a little confused. <laughs> uh, 
Well, you know, you know, Sal was out there with, you know, I called before about Sal being out there with Fez and the camping trip and whatnot. <laughs> right, you right. Remember you, remember, that? you remember Sal's camping trip, right, who kid? I, I love that bonfire or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, was Thank you, to, yeah. All dudes. Yeah. Sal, Sal just likes eating that ratatouille. Makes, it makes you think of uh, Fez's fucking semen, man. All oh, is that what? Is it? Off his chin, down his... Why don't you fucking stutter a little more through a fucking <laughs> French word, you dumb fucking hick? Is it a semen thing? No, it's nothing to do with that. It's just food. God just forbid it, someone yeah. says they like anything around here. It's, oh, he's a dick. You know more. Sal, don't lie. You know you like a big cock in your ass and your mouth and you like to dribble. Why don't you just go fuck your cousin, your you stupid fucking hick? <laughs> why, would I, why would I do that? Why would I? Go shut the fuck up. <laughs> why don't you go cook some fucking <laughs> fried chicken with <laughs> lard, you piece of shit, uncultured <laughs> fucking loser? If you can't handle the heat, stay the fuck out of the ratatouille. Uh, oh, right, that too. What the fuck are you saying? You're so uncultured and stupid, you piece of shit. Oh, hey, at least we fuck our sisters where I live at. Okay? Right, exactly. <laughs> Sal, you fucking piece of garbage. Why, why is the fans of this show hate Sal? I, don't, I really cannot understand this shit. Right? Sal sounds like a, a, a Andy Kaufman cutting a wrestling mm. promo in the '70s in the South. This right here is called soap. You can wash with it and get that odor away. Savon. <laughs> that, that's soap in French, nigga. Oh, okay. Do you, how do you say the N-word in French? A nigga. Uh, that sounds very... Oh, no, I mean, no, it's neg. It's neg, right? That well, I, I, know, I know the yeah. slang term is they call black people... Um, they call them baboons. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah baboon. Ba baboon. Yeah. That's what they call black people in Paris? I don't mind you calling me that. I would never do that to you, Hookit. I feel like it'd be disrespectful. I mean, you know, if, if I, you know, if I fuck your wife, you call me a bad boo. Well, please don't fuck my wife to find I out. I won't fuck your wife, Thank man. You. She's a nice person. That's what I'm saying, but I don't know why you didn't even bring that up. I don't, I'm just giving you an example why that word comes oh. up. Yeah. Oh, like if, if you gave me a reason to be mad at you. Baboon. Then I call you baboon, and you'd be like, okay, I understand. But you would say baboon. Baboon. Yeah, you and you'd be like, it. well, I did fuck his wife. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give him that one. Gotta give him that I one. I would never fuck your wife. She's so nice, yo. You, thank you. Yeah, she thank has a nice you. face. What does that mean? I mean, she's, she has a nice face. Man. Wait, wait, I don't understand what that means. I've seen your way you behave around people. I don't understand what that yo, leads to. Don't look at your wife like that, man. I'm just saying, but you said a nice face is like, you know, you tell people deep wait, throat, wait, she, nice face. She's not in the cartoon. She's not in the red tattoo. Okay, so you don't want to watch cartoons. No Pat Oswald with her. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, so let's hear your clip real quick. It was that thing where... I was up at you 6 like a.m., had to be in the law firm at 8. Shit. I would get off at 5. I would take, like, a bathroom shower, get freshened up, and then go Jeez. drive into the city, get some cheap oh. Chinese food, and do the clubs. Where was and, the law firm? Uh, it was in Vienna, Virginia. And I remember uh, for lunch break, I would go in to the bathroom, take a giant, I would unroll all this fucking toilet paper, so I had a big wad, I would put it on that metal thing on the back of the toilet, and sit backwards on the toilet and take a one hour nap <laughs> on my toilet <laughs> paper pillow, because I was so exhausted. <laughs> toilet paper pillow I was, on the uh, toilet tank. I was tank. operating on like four hours sleep a night, because I was doing the stuff, and I was just determined to, so I was so exhausted. That's fucking smart, though. Yeah. Why not go, yeah, beats going out to the car. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, because that's one of those things where, wow. where's Pat? He's in the bathroom. What, are you going to yeah. bother him? Yeah. He's obviously got some kind of tummy upset again. That pillow thing is crazy, though. <laughs> yeah, toilet I never thought about that. Toilet paper pillow? I guess so. Have you ever tried that? Nah. What was he doing, taking a long shit? No, napping. Oh. He had to take a nap. I thought he took a dump. <laughs> no, he wasn't taking... Oh, this dump is going to take a while. I'm going to need some rest. I'm going to need some R&R &R while I'm here. He was no realizing shit. that the bat... Yes, shit. <laughs> no, actually, you're right. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hukid, you just heard his voice, and you just thought he was the mouse. That's all that uh, going That's all yeah. I'm thinking about, man. Hukid started rubbing his genitals while you were playing that clip, and he uh, wasn't paying attention. He's still short, too. Who, Patton? Mm -hmm. he's, he's on the shorter side, I suppose. He's almost a rat size. <laughs> he's just thinking about the cartoon like again. A New York rat. <laughs> you ever saw a New York rat? I have said, dude... We we walked to the studio, you know, mm -hmm. on like four thirty five o'clock in the morning. And there's a supermarket a couple blocks down. Yeah. Every morning, Get out there's of raccoon sized rats <laughs> running back and forth in front of that supermarket. I would never shop in that what, supermarket. What street is that? It's on like fiftieth. Uh, oh, okay. Because like, when I was in the village, I saw a rat with pink shorts. He was wearing pink shorts. Mm -hmm. And you see any of them with skinny jeans, or is that for the fall? That's, that's for the fall. That's for the fall, right? Pink shorts is heavy out there. <laughs> I guess it's one of the rainbow rats. Pink shorts is heavy with the rats? <laughs> is that right? I think, 
Down there, yes. <laughs> Down there, anyway. Oh. Uh, I used to. I've done that before. There were there have been times. You wore pink shorts before. No, nah, I'm not talking about the pink shorts uh, anymore. Okay. I don't wear pink shorts. What well, underwear you got already? Right <laughs> <Why, you got? laughs> none of your business, quite frankly. <laughs> what difference does it make to you what well, kind Sal, of underwear? This guy's I got commando on? today, man. I'm not commando, and Sal doesn't care. Sal doesn't care. Uh-huh. Questions for who could come in and Mike in Indiana. Yo, hey, how's it going, guys? What's up, buddy? I missed something. Who kid? Why you want to fuck a rat? Why is it that you want to fuck a rat? Who kid? Nah, it's, it's like a subliminal connection. It's like I have a big cock and the pussy's small. So when you see like <laughs> something like a small animal, that's the pussy. Right, like a yeah, rat. Yeah. So you want to kind of fuck a rat. It's like a metaphor. Right, I understand. Yeah. You got to think two layers deeper, right? Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I, I There have been times, like not in years, not he, never here, but back in, especially like back in the K-Rock days yeah. when we started earlier, I was getting in here at like 4.30 in the morning. We were doing five-hour shows instead of four-hour shows. Yeah. If I had had a rough night the night before, if I had been out the night before or something, yeah. it would definitely be like, I need five minutes to shut my eyes. You go sit down on the toilet, shut the stall door. Wow. And that's where you shut your eyes. That's the place. Because nobody's going to bother you. So you, but you don't think about little pussies when you're in there? No, man. Why would I think about little pussies in the, in the bathroom? I don't know. Have my, you ever seen a little pussy in the bathroom? It's a bedroom. In, in my world, every pussy's small. But, uh, I mean, I don't know that world. We've you, talked about this. You don't, I, have, you don't have a big I, I, dick. Yeah, I mean, I don't have the big who kid monster penis. Hell no, you don't. No, I don't. Well, who kid, we'll have to hear more about your penis tomorrow. Because uh, we're out of here for today. Okay. But we will be live tomorrow. Don't get confused. A lot of people trying to figure out when the ONA vacation starts. It doesn't start today. God damn it. And that's great news then. For them, not for me. <laughs> we'll all see you here tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Uh. Thanks for listening to Opie and Anthony and the Opie and Anthony Post Show. If you missed a minute, get it later today at SiriusXM.com slash on demand. Or stay tuned. Today's replay starts in minutes. Here on the Opie and Anthony channel. It's real.